Hi everyone, welcome back to DIY Geek YouTube channel. Uh, in this video, I'm going to try to describe in detail how I accomplish reverse DNS uh, for my um, IP address. So reverse DNS is basically a reverse lookup of your DNS, um, I guess, domain name service. So uh, I'm going to do a reminder uh, typically you would do like for example if you look up google.com it would uh, translate it to some kind of ip address like this so that's the typical uh, direction of looking up a name to an ip address uh, reverse dns simply means that you are actually using the ip address and you would like to uh, find out what is that what is the domain that is uh, using that particular ip address which is why this is called the reverse lookup all right so let's get started with this um the first thing that you need to do is find out the zone of your uh, ip address so usually um in this particular case you would probably have a um, an ip address that you would like to obviously uh, reverse lookup uh, so based on that ip address um like mine is 38 <coughs> something and i have the whole block c which is a slash 24 um ip address uh, for the entire block so that's my entire zone and that entire zone uh, belongs to usually a company a hosting company or internet service provider or whoever you got the ip address from and you need to find out uh, what is the current zone that you have? So mine is um, the whole block C slash 24. And then once you find this out, what you want to do is you want to request delegation to your choice of name server. I'm using um, DNS Made Easy. And from DNS Made Easy, um, they have indicated which name server for me to use uh, in regards to name servers. So these are the different uh, name servers uh, that I can use. And uh, I decided to use this DG cert DNS, which is the one that is recommended for them from them from DNS made easy. So yours may change to something else. Uh, but nevertheless, uh, you, st you should still have to make a request of delegation so that that so basically what's going on here is that you're actually um, making an email. In my case, I sent an email to my provider of that IP address, which is Cogent. So I created an email to Cogent so that, um, here's my message right here. So basically uh, I'm requesting delegation of reverse DNS for my block. And I listed the, uh, the block and the name servers that I'm requesting for them to um, delegate uh, the, uh, the the entire block naming convention to these DNS servers. So that's all it is. Just send a request, usually an email to their um, network operations or support or customer service so that the IP address of your entire zone will be um, assigned or delegated to these DNS uh, servers. Once that is done, um, you you probably would get an email or phone call, or whatever, from your ISP confirming that it's done. And once that is done, what you would want to do is create the domain um, at your DNS server. So again, um, I'm using DNS Made Easy, which could be different uh, than the, uh, the <clears throat> name server um, service that you use. So at DNS Made Easy, here, what we do is we go to manage DNS and then I create at domains and at domains here, um, I'm going to type in my domain name backward. Um, I'm doing a full block C, which means that I'm going to be typing in the domain um, from the third octet, which is 167 and then um, sorry 168.87.38 and then uh, i would put another dot here and specifically for 
reverse DNS, I put in-addr.arpa. So that is the uh, syntax that you need. So basically, .in-addr.arpa prefixed by your three octet of your DNS. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. I mean, not DNS. The IP address is the uh, um, domain name that you need to create. And then once you press OK, because I already created it, this is what it's going to look like. Uh, now, my DNS for this particular domain is completely empty, the DNS records. And if your delegation is set up correctly, uh, all of these should be automatically filled because they will look up from that IP address that you put in that particular octet. They will find out who is the authority of the name servers and then fill in all these records right here automatically. The only other record that I put in or added, which is the last step here, is to create a PTR record, which I have done right here. So I have created a PTR record, and um, the only thing that I need to do is, is put in the IP address, the last octet of the IP address, which is 62, to the name that I want to, uh, to, to reverse point to, which is pmg.datafeedfile.com, and the time to live caching and then that's about it so once i created that it looks it, it creates a record that looks like this and once that is done um the only other thing the last thing that you need to do is to check and test to make sure that your reverse dns is working let me remind you that uh, obviously between these steps there are waiting times like for example when you request delegation you're going to have to wait for uh, your ISP or your um, internet service, uh, I mean, hosting uh, server um, provider to get back to you about the delegation being done. When you create a domain, you have to wait until make sure that your registrar of that particular domain is has completed fully the creation of that particular domain. Uh, once you create the PTR record, you also have to wait to make sure that that has propagated all throughout the internet, usually give it about 24 hours. When all of these are done and it's now time to check, basically what you would do is you go to a DNS reverse lookup. There's many on the internet. This one right here that I'm using is the MX Toolbox. And uh, MX Toolbox has a bunch of tools, but here I'm specifically using, obviously, the reverse lookup. I put in the IP address. I press go and uh, it, shows, uh, it shows up here that the PTR record for this particular IP points back to this. And that is exactly what we wanna do. All right, well, thank you for watching. I hope you find this video useful. If you do, please give it a thumbs up. And if you like this kind of content, please subscribe to my channel. Thank you. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to my channel to see more do-it-yourself video like these and support my channel. Thank you.